go on. The gas, why don't you ask Mr. West that? Mr. West's papers specifically say that his client spent $4.7 million on leases. Mr. West is publicly saying they're not going to appeal. He doesn't think they're going to appeal. He hasn't appealed in six months. And he said he said he doesn't think so, so that's a little equivocal. He has said unequivocal, unequivocally, they're not going to bring a takings claim to get the four point seven million dollars. So he might be a better person to ask than me. I have another question. Uh, yeah, I have one more question. I just when you referred to road agreements versus laws. Yep. Agreements is not enforceable but a law is. Well I might have said that, but that's okay. not what I meant. Okay. If you enter into an agreement, it's enforceable. Okay. What I meant to say is that uh, it, it, it's volitional, it's consensual, it's not mandatory. So no matter how pretty this is, no matter how well lawyered it is, you have no mechanism to force somebody in. Once you force them into it, or once they go into it voluntarily, or once you use a road use law to force them into it, to encourage them into it, then it's enforceable. Yeah. So I didn't mean to say it wasn't enforceable. What I meant to say is you can't get them into it. You can't force them into it. Once you get them into it, however you do it's enforceable. Because for us, I think, you know, infrastructure and road usage and road maintenance is going to be really important. And one of the things that I understand is that the Shenango County attorney, as part of his you know, assignment, is now developing language from town to town to town for, I don't know whether they're road use laws or road use agreements, so that each town wouldn't have to you know, reinvent the wheel and we could have something that would coordinate. Is that commonly done and is that recommended? It's, it's commonly done, it's recommended, but in your county in particular, um, they are doing this only with the road use agreement. So, yeah, so they're coming up with what's, what the lawyers call a template, a form. Okay. And then, okay, what I'm saying is don't listen, quote me, I don't care. Don't listen to the town, the county attorney. Take this, I'm sure it's pretty, and I'm sure it's, and I don't mean to, to be disrespectful, I'm sure it's a good agreement. I know where it came from, uh, in fact. Um, but ask your lawyer, the village's lawyer, say to him, okay, this is good, this is nice, in addition to whatever changes you, our council, is going to make, does this protect us, or do we additionally need a road use law? Don't ask the county, because the county's telling everybody, you don't need laws, you can trust these people. Now, now let me just say one thing as part of this question. There's a lot of misinformation out there. There's a lot of uh, question about impacts. Um, does, you know, do they really pollute water? Do they really pollute air? Whatever, you know, we can fight about. There is no dispute. The president of Chesapeake said very publicly, um, that we, meaning the industry, we get accused of a lot of things. Most of the things we're accused of, we're not guilty of. We do destroy roads. He didn't say damage, he said destroy. We do destroy roads. So you're absolutely right to focus on the infrastructure issues. And that is one of the things that most people, when I say people, municipalities, who decide to enact a moratorium, that's one of the first things they do is look at the road protection schemes. Right. We can't, by the way, we, we, can, we, we can't help you with this for free. This is not what we do. We can point you to places. Um, and, and, other, and by the way, um, if I can editorialize a little more than usual, um, this is not the place where you want to pay your lawyer to train um, or to learn on the job. Okay. You, this kind of stuff, you want you want your lawyer to tell you whether you need one of these and to bless whatever you come up with. But on this kind of stuff, you want to have an ex somebody who's done 10 of them for you because they because then those first towns have paid this guy to learn, or, or woman, okay? So you still need your lawyer to tell you first, do I need this in addition? And then secondly, you know, you don't really know who this the person who did this, even though they did 10 then your lawyer looks at it to make sure it's tailored for your village. But you don't, my recommendation is you don't want to pay your lawyer to learn on the job to do this. It's a technical thing. You've got to get it right. Well, then 
must be available. Tax them in the first 10 years. Then you got to pay more. Good. Thank you.